Welcome aboard this flight from Denver going over to Medford. This plane will be overnighting in Medford and the plane right next to us in Bravo 19, I believe the gate is, will be overnighting in Kalispell, Montana. Anywho, welcome aboard United Flight 2342 on over to Medford. We are aboard November 851 Uniform Alpha, an 18-year-old Airbus A319-131 in seat 15 Alpha. As you can tell outside, it is pretty nasty. Arguably pretty nasty. So, we're going to have to be de-iced, and as you all know, de-icing does not give the best views out the window. So bear with me, I'm going to speed it up. Guys, you can't see much, but the views of de-icing are pretty cool, just saying. So anywho, we're going to be using runway 34 left today, and we're going to be taxiing there by a Bravo November hotel de-ice pad. Golf Whiskey Alpha. The weather here in Denver. I really, really hope y'all are ready for some, um, a ton of numbers. I'll put what I'm reading up for you to follow along on the screen. Here we go. The weather here in Denver, according to the most recent METAR report at 0153 Zulu time, 6.53 p.m. local, reads wind 070 at 8 knots, 1 and 1 quarter nautical mile visibility, light snow, mist, overcast at 3,200 feet, negative 8 degrees Celsius air temperature, negative 10 degrees Celsius dew point. 17 degrees and 14 degrees Fahrenheit, respectively, and an altimeter of 2981. Just after pushback at 0233 Zulu time, 7.33 p.m. local, a special report was issued. This one read, winds 080 at 11, visibility 1 and 1 quarter nautical miles, light snow, mist, overcast at 2700, negative 9 degrees Celsius air temp, negative 11 degrees Celsius dew point, 15 degrees and 12 degrees Fahrenheit respectively, and an altimeter of 2983. During our de-ice, an hourly report came out with even worse conditions. This report came out at 0253 Zulu time, 7.53 p.m. local. It reads, Winds 080 at 11, one nautical mile visibility. Runway 35 left has an RVR of 6,000 feet. Light snow, mist. Vertical visibility of 1,600 and, and the temp is the same. For those of you wondering, vertical visibility basically means the cloud layer is on the ground and the METAR is measuring it up to the top of the cloud layer, not from the cloud layer to the bottom or the ground. Now that plane just pushed back from Kalispell. We'll be seeing that one later. Then a mere nine minutes later, a special report was issued almost the same as the hourly report with a couple updates of wind As conditions continue to deteriorate, just eight minutes later, another special report was issued with wind 070 at 11, visibility down to three quarters of a nautical mile, runway 35 left, RVR down to 5,500 feet, and the vertical visibility down to 1,200 feet. Wow. If I was able to retain your attention this long, mad respect. If you've made it this far, drop your favorite era of music in the comment section below. Mine's the 80s. What's yours? Now that the weather briefing is done, I'm going to go ahead and cut to pushback. 
I mean, we don't have that much longer, but that's okay. Also has equipment like that, which will be distributed if necessary. Smoking and using e-cigarettes and smoking tobacco are not allowed on this aircraft. FAA regulations prohibit tampering with disabling or destroying laboratory smoke detectors. U.S. law also requires passengers to comply with flight and science and crew member instructions. We will be taking off soon. Please bring your seat back up, close your tray table, fasten your seatbelt, and return your headrest to the original position. Food and beverage items must be collected or put away for departure. We will be coming by to collect any remaining items. We will be dimming the cabin light so you can rest, but we don't want to wake you every time the seatbelt sign comes on. So please buckle it over your blanket or any garment you may have on. If you need anything, just press your call button. Thanks again for flying with us. I'll be back with more details about tonight's flight once we're in the air. Okay, now that we have pushed back from gate Bravo 17, I'm going to end up speeding up basically this entire taxi because we were taxiing for over 50 minutes, including de-ice of course. And I'm sure nobody really wants to sit here for 50 minutes. But still, mad respect for those who made it through my weather briefing. See you on our departure. we pull up to this DI stand, pad, whatever you want to call it, I'd like to point out that this plane we're pulling up next to just happens to be the same plane we watched push back for Kalispell. So that's what I meant by we're going to see it later.
always, I'd like to thank everybody so very much for watching this video. It's one of my longer ones, but that's just because I narrated the first six minutes of weather. Anywho, I hope you guys consider subscribing. Just want to let you know, not every video is going to be like this. It just happened to be really cruddy weather, so I wanted to take advantage of that. Anywho, like I said, I hope you guys consider subscribing and drop a like on this video because Denver in the winter is great. It'd be better if it was daytime, but hey, I'll take it. I will see you on our arrival into Medford. See you later.